When the views on this channel go through the roof and I'm an internationally renowned vlogger because of the millions of views I get a day, now you all know how it happened. He's found the channel, he loves it. Well this is new, um, we were just sat there minding our own business on a Sunday morning, I was about to go and do my football manager video, who's tooting their horn at me? The car's stationary, I can record a video, they can't apart, leave me alone. Anyway. Sat there minding my own business. Sproglet asks for a Snickers. Snickers isn't on his very restricted list of food that he eats. Now I know it's still a chocolate bar, it's still not ideal, but it's got some nuts in. I don't remember the last time that boy had some protein. So I've now rushed out to, to Tesco. I'm still wearing my pajamas, basically. Um, they're under my jeans, because it would be weird just to be in full on pajamas. Um, but I've got to go and grab him a Snickers. And if he eats it, he has a whole new food group in his diet of caramelly chocolatey nuts. I don't know why that's here. When I do these videos, it's not plugged into anything. That has been a weirdly relaxing weekend. It is now half past eight on Sunday night. I've done almost nothing productive. And I think I really, really needed it. Um, oh, it's been a... I mean, you can hear my voice now. I'm still not 100% recovered from this nasty, nasty flu that I've had. Goodness me, has it taken a lot out of me. Um, fingers crossed, that is all done now. And I can get back into scheming and whatnot over the course of the next couple of weeks. The money video I've been promising you for ages is coming. Um, one of the reasons... Well, there's two reasons I haven't done it yet. One... Um, the figures keep changing. The more I drill into all the detail and the more research I do and the more I look at what options I've got, what will be available, um, it's complicated. It keeps changing. I think I'm closing in on a settled number for it though. Um, and also, I just, it's an important video and I want to be able to do it properly and I don't think I would have been able to do it properly without feeling 100%. And I'm closing in on about 80% at the moment, so fingers crossed we hit that 100% mark in the next couple of days and I'm ready to do things properly. A couple of people have said, um, both in the comments and on Twitter, that there are occasions where I should perhaps not do a vlog for the day. Now, my thoughts on that are I want to keep doing it every day because it's important for me to A, have it as an accountability thing for the diet, which, I mean, yesterday was a disaster, but one of the main reasons about putting that video out was I was able to come on here and I had to tell you lot it was a disaster I couldn't come onto the camera and lie to you and I that was really beneficial to me being able to do that it refocuses the mind you can't exactly pretend it's not happening in a few days time I'm gonna to have to stand on a set of scales with a camera pointing at me if I've gained weight I won't be able to pretend I haven't which I could if the vlog became optional but also this year 2017 is going to be a massive massive year for me um, in loads and loads of ways and I, I want to have this record to look back on. Um, I know we missed a couple of days when I was really ill, but ignore those couple of days. I want a record of a vlog of every day of 2017, taking us from where I was on that first day, um, health-wise, professional-wise, family-wise, everything. And I want to be able to take it a full year in the future and say, look how much has changed, look how much better everything is. That's awesome. And you can't do that if you don't record the, the boring days as well. There'll be boring days. This is one of them. But luckily, we have something to alleviate the boredom. We have this month's Infinity Crate. Infinity Crate is one of the few subscription boxes that I haven't cancelled yet. Because um, most of them have been a little bit rubbish. But this one is usually pretty cool. And it's one of the few that's based in the UK. And they actually decide what to send based on this massive questionnaire that I had to fill in when I first joined, the theory being that they only send me stuff that I'll like. So everyone who subscribes is going to have a slightly different box. There'll be some stuff that's common across all the boxes, but that's why they're going to be quite good. I don't get a load of Star Wars tap when I get this box. This is where it's going to be full of Star Wars stuff. I can just feel it, because everything I've just said will end up being wrong. Right, what have I got in here? Firstly, I have 
a very cool pop. I have a She-Hulk pop. Now, I did get this pop for Christmas off my daughter, so if you're watching, don't worry. Obviously, I'll continue to keep the one you got me proudly displayed on my shelf, and this one will go into the doubles pile and get sold at some point. I really like this collection of Marvel pops that came out last year. Um, I've currently got three of them looking to pick up the other three at some point as so I need to get my head out of the picture so you can see what they are. They're all pretty cool. That's a good pop. I mean, for a box that I paid 20 quid for, I think, um, that's £10 worth of value right there. It's a very cool pop from a very cool collection. What else have we got in here? We have a rather bent up and battered Walking Dead figure. It is the governor, subtitled with his name, Philip Blake, which seems a little bit weird because I don't think his name is ever confirmed on the TV show, is it? It doesn't seem necessary to put his name on there. It just feels like the people who've created that wanted to show off that they knew what his name was, which is fine. I read the, the novel that they brought out based on the governor. So we've got a figure, we've got a sword, a dagger, a spare head. So what we've actually got, I don't know how clearly you can see that, we've got the governor's face, the light's shining off at just the wrong angle. We've got the governor's face before and after he gets his eye poked out which is very cool, so depending on what pose I want to put him in, he can either have the eye patch or not. And we've also got an arm that's been cut off at the elbow as well, on the other side of there. So that is very cool. A lot of thought has gone into that. It's from a set that also has Glenn in riot gear, his daughter, including the fish tank. I mean, that's just fantastic. Um, and one of Michonne's pet zombies. That is a really cool set of figures. I've not seen these before, but I really like that. That's from series two of The Walking Dead, comic book based ones, so they're not from the TV show, um, which that's very cool. I like that a lot as well. Um, we also have a Super Mario Toad minifigure. Um, I'm getting quite a few of these now. I don't really know why they keep sending these. I don't remember saying anywhere that I'm a big Super Mario fan. I don't mind Mario. It's fine, but I don't know what I'm going to do. A tiny little toad figure. There you go, that's a tiny little toad figure. Um, we've got, oh, why are you sending me sweets? We've got fireball jawbreakers. I can't eat sweets. Did you not watch yesterday's video? These are gonna be really hot and horrible. I'll have one to end the video so you can see my horrible face contorting. And then it looks like we've got two t-shirts. So firstly, we have a very cool Avengers shirt. I like that a lot, actually. There you go. It's the four big guys off of the Avengers, that's very cool. And then there's another shirt, touch, see two shirts, that's just good value. What have we got here, what's our other shirt? Our other shirt is a Batman and Joker shirt from the end of the Killing Joke, I guess that is. So, two really cool shirts. I mean, if we look at the value of this box, this is why I continue to subscribe to Infinity Crate. You'd expect to pay at a Comic-Con 10 to 15 pounds each for those shirts. So that, let's be conservative, let's say that's 20 pounds of a value in there. That, I guess, is what, three quid? Um, that has got to be a tenner. Um, that's a tenner. The sweets, maybe a quid, but for, for 20 pounds, you've got, you've got a good sort of 40 or 50 pounds of a value out of that box. It is one that is well worth subscribing to. Unfortunately, I also think it's the only one that doesn't have an affiliate link, so I'm not even gonna make any money if you sign up. But it's infinitycrates.co.uk. Check them out. They are very cool. And now I'm gonna have a fireball jawbreaker, which, and oh, it's gonna be horrible, isn't it? It's not hot. Hard candy ball, bubblegum center. I assumed it was gonna be spicy. It isn't. 